Hello everybody, this is Chromis018, and I'm going to try and make this quick, because I'm going to go get myself some food in a bit. Anyway, this is going to be my thoughts and recap for The Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, Episode 3. I mean, Episode 3. No, no, no. Episode 11. I don't know why I said 3. <laughs> anyway, uh, this episode, the Kijin girls are fighting over Rimuru. Pulling him like a freaking piece of chaffy, essentially. Thankfully, they are able to come for the compromise. And Shion ends up taking him to go get lunch. Bad mistake on his part. Because when they get, he gets there and he sees the other guys there. And he says that Shion's going to offer to make him lunch. They get a little... Scared. And, yeah, Rimuru comes to the same conclusion that essentially it's the over, overly used trope where the hot, skilled girl can't cook. And the stealthy guy ends up duplicating himself and leaves to go on patrol. Lucky, got to leave. <laughs> and the others are, other two are just trying to hide. Essentially, the old guy is essentially hiding his presence. To where he's essentially like an... I could spirit form, I guess? And when she brings out the food... Oh god, it looks like poison in a bowl. Poison mush in a bowl. Is how bad it looks. To where it looks like it's got a face that creeps me and Rimuru out. Gabta and, the, and a couple others come in the room. And Gabta ends up eating the food. And ends up... It looks like the food kills him. And, oh boy, you would think that this would be Shion's wake-up call, that I can't cook. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Anyway, uh, Gabiru and his crew are hitting up the goblin villages and asking them for help. And they essentially, all the goblin villages offer their help, and they end up having one left to go to, which is Rimuru's village. They get there, and... <sighs> automatically assume that uh, Rieger Rieger, I can't even which one, the other is the leader and well essentially when they find out that Rieger is actually the leader they, you know, obviously scoff at the fact that a freaking mere slime is a leader of the Goblin Village, and Rimuru makes them a deal. If their person loses to him in a duel, they will serve him. If they win, he has to leave. Guess who they pick? They pick Gupta, who essentially has the poison resistance skill now because of that little incident. Which is good for him, so that means he can eat Shion's cooking without... Maybe without dying. <laughs> or at least have a better chance of that, anyway. And this gets Shion ticked, because they essentially insulted her cooking, which, can you blame them? At this point? I wouldn't, and I'd, if I was there, I wouldn't blame them. Anyway, uh, Gopta shows some surprising skill, because essentially he was afraid, and... Uh, Rimuru, essentially, this is how it got out, that she can't cook. Essentially, he tells him that if he wins, he doesn't have to eat Shion's cooking ever again, and that's what got him motivated. And Gabta ends up kicking G Gabiru's butt, using shadow- essentially moving through the shadows and kicking his butt through a shadow. Which surprised Rimuru and myself, considering, yeah, Gabta didn't seem to have too much potential with that sort of thing. And apparently he could fight real well. Given the up, given the motivation, of course. And this hurt, ends up knocking Gabiru out. They leave with him. And when he wakes up, his pride is definitely hurt. That a mere goblin kicked his butt. Yeah. Later... Uh... Essentially, uh, the 
dragon, the uh, uh, dragon, the lizard men chief had sent them all a message to essentially, you know, meet with them later and discuss an alliance because he knew that they wouldn't be able to handle this whole orc thing alone. Gabiru has got other plans. He thinks that they should essentially attack head on using the terrain, which normally using the terrain would be a good idea, but considering how many orcs there are, it's not a smart idea. Anyway, uh, Rimuru and the others are holding a meeting to figure out what to do when a dryad is brought into the mix, because the stealth guy pops up and says, hey, I've got a visitor, she wants to talk to you. It's a dryad. And the dryads are essentially the justice keepers of the forest. Sorry. Anyway, she wants to essentially form an alliance to try and fix this whole orc thing because it's getting out of control and getting everybody in danger. And I think it's at this point that Gabiru went and overthrew his father. Or maybe that's in the next episode, I can't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, it surprised me that not only Shion can't cook, but Gopta can fight. Big time. Not near as good as some of the others, of course, especially Rimuru, but he's decent. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy the reaction, and I will see you all next time.